Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Welcome to Simply Coach YouTube channel and in today's session, we will implement stacks using linked list. Now stacks can be implemented using various data structures including arrays, linked list and dynamic arrays. However, linked list are often preferred choice for implementing stacks because they offer several advantages over other data structures. Now one of the main advantage of linked list is they allow for efficient insertion and deletion of elements at any position of a list which is important for implementing a stack as well wherein elements are typically added and removed from the top of the stack. Furthermore, linked list do not have a fixed size limit unlike arrays which may need to be resized if the number of elements in the stack exceeds the initial capacity of the array. So in this tutorial, we will understand exactly how to implement a stack using a linked list, its code and its complete demonstration using C++. But before we begin, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. Without any further ado, let's directly jump into Visual Studio Code for implementation. Alright, as you can see Visual Studio Code has started. So let us try to understand the implementation process of stacks using linked list. So I'm just writing a comment here. Implementation of stacks using linked list. So as usual, firstly we will define a node structure for our linked list. So before that we'll just include the header files quickly hash include io stream using namespace std so firstly let us uh, define the structure so i am taking struct node and inside that uh, i am taking a data which will show the value in our linked list and a next pointer which will point to the node in a linked list so node asterisk next so next we will uh, define the stack class here wherein we will define the uh, stack that we are going to create all right so basically a uh, stack class is defined which has a primate member a variable top that will point to the top of the stack so let's just uh, create a class stack over here class stack and it said that I'm creating a private member function wherein we are creating a pointer to the top of the stack. So node asterisk top. Alright, and then we will create another public member function where it will initialize the top of the stack to null. So let us take uh, the stack function so stack and inside that i am initializing the top value to the null so top is equals to null so next let us uh, create a function to check if the stack is empty or not so before we proceed and insert elements into a stack we have to know whether it is empty or not right so i'm just taking a boolean function bool is empty is the function which is used to check whether the stack is empty or not so is empty and if it is empty, then I'll return the value where it return top is equals to equals to none. So in that case, we uh, we can say that the stack is empty. So firstly, let us create a function to push an element onto the stack. So let us take a void function for that. So void, let's take, firstly, we use the push, which will insert an element into the stack. And we will pass a value into that of integer type. So firstly, we will create a new node to our stack. So node asterisk new node is equals to new node. All right. Next, we will set the data of the new node. So new node's pointer points to the data which will store the value. So new nodes of data is equals to value. So next we'll point the new node to the current uh, top of the stack, right? So new node of next will point to the top of the stack, all right? So, and then we will set the new node as the new top of the stack. So top is equals to new node. So I hope you've uh, understood till now. We just created a constructor of the stack class, which initializes the uh, 
you know the top of the stack to null and then we were checking just if the fun the stack is empty or not for that i'm using is empty function which will check if the stack is empty by checking if the top uh, pointer is null and then we are firstly creating a push function which adds an element to the top of the stack by creating a new node with a given value setting its next pointer to the current top of the stack and setting the new node as a new top of the stack similarly next let us create a pop function which is used to remove an element from the stack so let us create a function for a pop as well so i'm just taking in pop and inside that firstly we will check if the stack is empty or not so let's pass the function if is empty which is used to check if the stack is empty or not so if the stack is empty we will return c out stack is underflow now stack underflow happens when we try to pop or remove an item from the stack when nothing is actually there to remove that is when uh, the stack is empty we will set the top to minus one right so that is where uh, we are just checking if it is there or not so since it is empty so let me just uh, is empty so we will just uh, display c out stack under flow and we will end the line and we will display an error message all right display an error message and return minus one top value would be minus one so i hope you understood this so otherwise we will uh in general perform the deletion operation that is basically the pop operation so firstly we will get the data of the top node so in value points to the top of the to the top that is top pointer points to the data next we will store the current top node in a uh, let's say a temporary variable before it gets deleted so node asterisk temp is equals to top now next we have to set the next node as the new top of the uh, no, our stack so top is equals to top of next so once we have set the next node as a new top of the stack we will delete the old top node right so delete temp that we have created and finally we will return the value so we are just basically deleting the old top node and returning the data of the popped node so that is uh, the function that is used to create uh, to remove an element from our stack so next let us create a function to display the elements of the stack so for that i am taking void uh, display function so again we are just uh, checking if the list is empty or not if list is empty that is is empty function will be used in order to check if the stack is empty or not we will return c out stack is empty c out stack is empty all right and then we will display a error message display an error message and we will return the value otherwise we will return all the values so for that the code would be firstly we will start from the top of the stack right so node let's take a current variable which will point to the top of our stack so and then we will retrieve the value see out uh, let's say elements in the stack all right so this will continue while the current is not equals to null that is until we traverse the stack until the end of the linked list we will try to uh, retrieve the values from our linked list so while current is not equals to null is not equals to null we will traverse the list 
so c out current of data return that value until you reach the end of the uh, linked list so we are just displaying the data of the current node and finally we will move to the next node as well so wherein we will try to write current is equals to current of next so i hope you understood uh, till here where we are just uh, you know starting from the top of the stack and then we are retrieving the elements and traversing the stack until the end of our linked list and we are simultaneously displaying all the data of our current node until we move to the next node until we reach the last uh, node as well so finally we will end the loop here so c out end line so now finally we are left uh, with the main function to test the stack implementation so let's just create the main function so int main and then we will create a new stack so stack let's say the name as stack s and then we'll push the elements into our stack so s dot push let's try to insert some elements let's take one similarly let's take uh, some more values you can take your own values as per your choice so i'm just taking uh, sequentially one two three four five so that you'll have a clear understanding on how it is getting implemented so s dot push four the last element s dot push five all right now once we uh, insert the elements we have to display so i'm just using the display function as dot display to uh, display the elements of the stack so now let us try to uh, remove an element so i'm just taking a statement saying that uh, pop element so obviously the element that is at the top of the stack will be popped out from the stack so i'm just taking popped element and i am passing a function which is s dot pop and we will end the line so we're just popping an element from the stack now once we uh, pop the element we will again display the stack after removing that particular element so s dot display is used again so i hope you understood the code uh, till now guys uh, just to go through what we've done here we're just creating a structure node and then we are assigning some values by creating a class stack and then firstly we have created a void push function in order to insert some elements and similarly we have used a pop function also in order to remove an element and finally we are using a display in order to retrieve all the values and then we are creating main function and main function and calling all the elements into our function so let's just uh, execute this and see the output so let us execute the statement and we'll see the output so as you can see in the terminal we can see elements in the stack are 5 4 3 2 1 and we are popping the element 5 which is at the top of the stack now once this element is removed the finally the elements in the stack will be 4 3 2 and 1 now similarly you can uh, pop another element let's say i'm just copying this and let us try to delete one more element which is 4 and again i am displaying it once again let's just try to execute this and we will see what will the output be so again firstly the elements will be 5 4 3 2 1 we are popping the element now the elements in the stack will become 4 3 2 1 now again we are using the uh, pop function wherein we are removing the top element of our stack which is 4 now once 4 is removed from the stack now the elements in the stack would be 3 2 and 1 so in this way you can use the pop function which will remove an element from top of the stack by checking if the stack is empty and getting the data of the top node setting the next node so with this uh, we have come to the end of today's session guys i hope you've understood how to implement uh, a stack using a linked list Thank you for watching the video guys. If you found this tutorial informative and helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. 
If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Stay tuned to the channel for more such amazing content. If you want to learn more about data structures, we have a dedicated playlist on it. So make sure you check that out wherein we have covered all the basics from the scratch, including what data structures are, what are arrays, pointers, various data structures like linked list, queues, stacks, and etc. Until next time, thank you, stay safe, and keep coding.